Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. Today I want to give you a really quick cleaning tip. Um, I think probably everyone that owns firearms uses these little cleaning cloths. Um, this one here, just a little uh, Winchester cloth. I think I bought that from Walmart. Um, stays in my nightstand. I use it uh, every couple of days to wipe down my firearm before I uh, put it in the holster in the morning. Um, this one here actually stays in my range bag. Um, it's probably about ready to be washed again. And uh, that one gets pretty dirty because that one's used uh, used the most with most uh, most dirty environment. This one here is another one I keep in my range bag. Um, and I'll show you why I keep two here in a minute. Um, so you can buy these two different ways. Um, they'll come non-treated, which means it's just a cloth. It's a, uh, you know, they're real, they're soft. They're, uh, they pick up dirt real easy. Um, they're great for wiping down your firearms with. They'll take off fingerprints and dirt, lint, um, everything. They'll just lift it right off of it. And the other kind that you get are treated. Um, so usually they'll use some kind of a silicone um, based um, lubricant on these and what happens is these dry out so if you get the if you get the treated ones or even if you get the ones that are not treated you can also do this um, but the treated ones dry out they still work but you don't get the full benefit from them so there's a fix for that so what you do it's really simple so what I found is you've got about two weeks before these dry out all right so you can actually recharge these yourself you don't have to throw them away and buy a new one they are relatively cheap I mean they're only a couple of dollars a piece so you can just buy another one it's not that not that expensive but I just keep reusing them so what you do is use a product like this um, I use rim oil for a couple things and this is one of them and I use it because it dries pretty quick it doesn't stay real wet but it leaves behind you see it right there above my thumb it leaves behind a Teflon coating um, so even after it dries the, the the surface of your firearm will feel a little slick from it um, you'll feel that uh, that Teflon coating on there all right so it's really simple to recharge these okay so this one here is the one I use on my nightstand so um, I'm gonna do both sides of this one all right you don't want to soak them all right, so you don't want to completely soak them. You just want to mist them. All right, we're not looking to get like a, a real thorough coating of lubricant on these because that's not the way they come. They don't come wet. They come dry. All right, so all you're looking to do is just mist them. That's why I'm using a spray lubricant. You can use a, you can probably use whatever lubricant you want. Um, like I said, I use rim oil because it does leave a, a a coating behind you can also get a silicone based lubricant um, you can use that as well and uh, it'll work just it'll work just the same all right so after you're done with it just fold them back up put it back in a ziploc bag all right that's all you do to it just put it back in the bag you do need to keep them in a ziploc bag for them to stay they'll, they'll stay damp longer if you just leave them laying on a shelf they'll dry out pretty quick um, especially with something like this on it because this, this doesn't uh, this will evaporate pretty quick but it does leave a, a slick film behind um, when it's done all right so this one remember I said I keep this one in my range bag I keep this one dry and I actually lubricate this one um, so I don't keep this one here in a ziploc bag so what I do is I'm just unfold it here so there's two sides to it there's a I keep a wet side and a dry side all right and this is the one that's in my range bag all right so before i go to the range i'll just lightly mist it all right just mist it a little bit that's all you got to do okay and then i'll just fold it up i'll fold it up and i'll stick it in my range bag all right and then i'll leave this one dry in my range bag so now i have two cloths in my range bag i have one that i know is dry and i know that i have one that has a lubricant on it so when I go to leave the range, I'll unfold this one. I'll wipe my gun. I'll wipe the firearm down. Um, we're good with that. So I know it's at least protected between there and, and next time that I clean it, which is usually that evening. But it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you get. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way and you get distracted. But that's it. Um, 
if you've got any questions, you can email me at muzzlefirst at gmail.com. Uh, visit my website, www.muzzlefirst.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video below and subscribe. There's a comments area below. If you have uh, questions or comments, good or bad, whatever, um, you can comment below. Thank you, and you have a good day.